You guys just wrapped shooting, didn't you? Actually, we're still shooting in the You're moment. You're still shooting, we're, okay. We're, we're in the thick of it. So where are we at? Are we on episode three, episode two, still the pilot? Uh, episode six? Oh, no, wow. We're further than that. I think we're on episode eight right now. We're shooting episode eight. I it's, thought you guys like just started like a month ago. We did. We've been shooting like crazy. We're shooting, uh, uh, yeah, in a month we've shot seven episodes. And we work fast in Canada. We work yeah. very fast here. We got told the show's picked up and it was go, go, go. And let's just like nail this. So we've yeah. been working in crazy hours. And uh, yeah, it's been worth it. So why don't you give a background on the show for people who are excited to see it? I know it's about 20 something struggling with commitment, is what I've been told. Well, I mean, it's called satisfaction. Maybe give the microphone to someone else. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. No problem. <laughs> I was waiting for the cue. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I was for yeah. yeah, well, not only struggling with, um, what did you say? Struggling with what? Relationships? Commit, well, commitment? commitment of all sorts. Yeah, I think also struggling with how to, it's called satisfaction, <laughs> and struggling with how to find your own version of satisfaction is probably what we're all doing, I think, right? And you guys are a couple, you're the single guy. That's right. Actually, we're all in a relationship <laughs> together. No. 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 Oh. What's that no, show, Big not. Love? It's like Big Love. <laughs> yes. Don't put that out there. Yeah. <laughs> so what is, what is the arrangement? You guys are all living together on the show? Is that how it so works? So me and Ryan have known each other from... Uh, Sorry, guys. In the day. I think it's yet to be established exactly how long we've known each other, but I'm, I'm thinking college. And uh, this is my new lady friend. Well, not that new. We've probably been together for three or four years. Yeah. I don't know. Everything is probably. Did you do backstories for your characters? <laughs> really, it's a thick, thick, You're thick Bible. Yeah. Well, um, you know, they, sometimes you have to change things when you go flashbacky. But I think we've done a lot of flashbacks where we're back in college together. So I think that that's where okay. this whole thing began. And uh, well, we met at 80s night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 80s night, what were your costumes? Well, they were actually pretty amazing. You'll have to stay tuned for that. They were actually... They were maybe the... You guys had maybe the most incredible 80s looks I've ever seen. We get I to have... I couldn't stop laughing every time I just looked at you. It's so true. We, we have tons and tons... There's that mic there, too, so it's all good. Oh, good. We have yeah. tons and tons of fun on the show with, like, crazy um, sort of funny costumes at times. It's really fun that way. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I would say that it's good. Oh, ow! Jesus. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> we're really killing this. This is a great vortigo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> you all right? <laughs> You're watching Blooper TV. <laughs> what are we on a French TV show? Okay. Um, uh, we're the, the show is a lot of it is about the fact that because I'm single and they're in a couple and we're all at that age, you know, when you're kind of in your 20s, late 20s, you're kind of not sure. You're not an adult yet, but you don't feel like a kid anymore. So it, that's a lot of the storylines, like still trying to go out and go to a club, but you feel a little too old or out of place or, or starting like heavy commitment issues, that's a big thing, or, or being single at this age. It's like, why is he still single and unemployed? You know, you have to start questioning yourself. And unemployed. And unemployed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and unemployed. Mostly the unemployed. That's probably why he's single. That's probably why he's single, yeah. I think they're related. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So what, what drew each of you to these characters? What, what did you identify with in each of your characters? No, she, she, does, <laughs> she does not want to answer that one. Uh, well, I mean, honestly, to tell you the truth, it was more the, um, it was more the writing, and it was more the, um, the format. I really, really, really wanted to do comedy, and I read it, and I thought, this is the funniest thing I have read in ages. And, and that was really what drew, drew me. Character, you know, always is something that comes along and kind of comes and goes, and you sort of figure it out as you go along. But really, it has to be about the writing, and the writing is so good on the show. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I would say that. Uh, um, uh, I would say that. I would say that uh, uh, the writing was really great. I would say that. Um, oh, thank you. No, the writer Tim McAuliffe. He is uh, a Canadian guy. He wrote on Twenty Two Minutes, but he also wrote on Jimmy Fallon's mm -hmm. uh, Late Night Show, uh, Up All Night, and was a producer on The Office. And when the script came out, it was so good. And all of us have worked in LA, and you know they produce a lot of comedy there. And most of the scripts you read, these are just terrible. So it was so refreshing to see a script from a Canadian that was being made on a Canadian network that was funnier than almost all the scripts we were reading down there. So it was a big, it was very, very appealing. Yeah, and it's it's true it's true that I remember reading it, and we read so many scripts, especially in the thick of like pilot season, mm -hmm. where you're reading a, like two or three scripts a day sometimes. And this was the one time um, that I had actually really laughed out loud so much while reading it, and that rarely happens when you're just kind of reading mm -hmm. reading a script in in Los Angeles. So yeah. it was good. Stand ups always go into acting. And I, I get the correlation a little bit, but I don't at the same time, because it's very different types of performance. So what have you learned in this acting foray? 
Um, well, I'm definitely becoming, a, uh, uh, I think, a, a stronger actor uh, with, you know, great actors like these two to work with. Aww. Um, and, uh, I learn everything from him. Yeah. yeah. No, but I love, I mean, I love it. And my mother is an actor. My father's an actor. So I've always had a, a really strong appreciation for the craft. So I think some comics, you know, they're not. <laughs> she seems skeptical. No, no, I'm just saying that I feel like doing stand-up, you're also, you're really performing when you're doing stand-up also. Like, you have to perform, and you're doing a lot of times the same material often, and you have to do it in a certain way that you get a reaction, and you make people laugh. So but, I don't feel like they're too far from me. That's far. a good point, Leah. I will say that it's, <laughs> it's weird, though, because he always wants to carry a microphone and everything. Yeah, it's weird. So you have to always, stop him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this isn't even your you microphone. I brought this. Right I brought this uh, from home. I just, it's your wind you, you go on stage with the MSN logo, and everything. I do, yeah. yeah. We appreciate that. It's oh yeah, I'm sponsored. I'm country. sponsored by Amazon. You use like the most ridiculous <laughs> objects as microphones. You really do. Like a soda pop can, you'd be like, this is Ryan Belleville, blah, 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 blah. He's always doing that. That is completely untrue. I want that. <laughs> Nobody believe that. <laughs> Yeah. So you're also a producer on the show? No, no, I'm just a writer on the show. That might maybe oh, okay. uh, I, Good. I was We're writing debunking the show. Wikipedia myths. Yeah, like come that. on, let's get let's get off. Uh, actually, I like Wikipedia myths. Do <laughs> <laughs> all your research. Oh, these guys are coming no, in. No, Wikipedia is funny. There was a while well, there you where you start at Wiki, then you go other places. Yeah, yeah. There, there was a while there where Wikipedia said I was uh, <laughs> dating some Brazilian supermodel. What? Not did you write that yourself? You uh, I wrote that. I wrote that myself. <laughs> I wrote that myself. No, somebody else wrote that. I'm like, who would write that? It was like the worst prank ever. Like, I'm going to show him by saying he dates models. <laughs> I play the trumpet, according to Wikipedia. Really? Yeah, it's so weird. I'm like, okay, sure, I'll take that. You should pick it yeah, up. I just, <laughs> yeah. No? But yeah, I did get the, uh, the honor to write on the show for, uh, I, was, I wrote for about six weeks before he started, and then I did some writing uh, in the first few blocks of episodes, and now I'm just uh, pretty much acting. Too busy to keep writing, but... Yeah, it was great. It was great to get to work with Tim. And my brother uh, uh, was a writer on the show, too. So it was great to work with my brother again. When can we see it? When does it start? Do we know? June 24th. At Very soon. O'clock. Yeah, Monday nights at 8 on CTV. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you very much. My pleasure.